Sheldon, and today we will now do question 12 of step 2, 2022. So a game of two players can be one my player A, one my player B, when 0 PA plus BB, 1 or draw. A match consists of a series of games and is won by us player to win the game. So what is the probability that A wins the match? Well, obviously, it's PA. And the probability that A wins the second match is PA plus PB. Actually, it's times. And then, the next one is PA times PB squared. But this is just only considering PB. What have we forgot? We forgot the drawn option. And then we continue and continue and then get a PA over 1 minus 1 minus PA. And then, what do we do now? We forgot that we should have PB in here because we also forgot that PB needs to be put into account in the drawn option. So, this means that A will be the first player to always win the match. So this becomes PA over PA plus PB. We are currently done. Now let us take away this for a while. Second game or two players can be won by player A or player B. A play a match consists on two games, and was won by us player to have won two more games than the other. So let's say one player wins n games and the other wins n plus two. Therefore, the number of games is two n plus two. Since n can only be an integer, this makes this even. And now the probability that a wins the match is the difference between the number of games won is initially zero and it either increases or decreases by one after each game. So the game is equivalent to that in part one, actually, with PA equals to P squared and PB equals to Q squared. Why? It's because there is no draw option here. So the probability that A wins the match is P squared over P squared plus Q squared. A third game for only one player consists of a series of rounds. The player starts the game with one token, wins the game and they have four tokens at the end and loses the game and they have no tokens at the end. Now, you might be thinking, so this is the cautious one. So this means that this starts the game with one token. So P, 1 minus P, so plus 1. And then, with, and then <coughs> the, on the cautious one, they lose one token. And then on the bold version, times 2 and times 0. Find the probability that the player wins. Ah, uh, now how are we going to do this? The player has to win round one of the game to continue. Following that the game, again, is equivalent to that in part two, because you have to win two more games than the other, then that means you will have four tokens, which actually means that the probability that the cautious is P cubed over P squared plus Q squared. And now, the book version is actually quite much easier to calculate without having to worry about game equivalence or isomorphism. But the only way on player to win is by winning two rounds in a row. So probability P squared. Yes. That's it. We are done. Well not really. So hence sure the player is more likely to win in the cautious version. So this means we have to calculate P squared minus PQ over P squared plus Q squared equals to P4 plus P squared Q squared minus P cubed over P squared plus Q squared. And then if you calculate this, you will have P squared P squared minus P plus Q squared over P squared plus Q squared. And which, if you do the simplification, you will get p squared 2p minus 1, p minus 1 over p squared plus q squared. And basically, this will amount to p4 plus p squared minus 2pq plus p4 minus pq. I'm just showing you the workings over p squared plus q squared equals to 2p4 minus 3pq plus p squared over p squared plus q squared which effectively factorize into the 
expression shown on the left. So if 2p minus 1 is greater than half, then it is positive, and so it is more likely to win in the cautious version. However, if p is less than half, then 2p minus 1 will be less than 0, and it will be more likely to win in the bold version. Now, do you understand why? That's it. See you in another step video.